Remember the files we downloaded on Zepetto Studio? Let's go find the Unity project folder. Unzip Zepetto Studio Unity, open the folder, go inside again, and go to Assets folder. And here we see a file called Playground Unity. This is our shortcut to open Unity project file scene provided to convert FBX file into a Zepetto file. I recommend creating a shortcut of this file on your desktop to easily access it. Right click, create shortcut, and just drag and drop the shortcut file onto your desktop. And let's open our Playground Unity file. It might take a while if it's your first time opening it. On the left is a hierarchy window. This works similar to the outline on Blender. Here in the Scene tab, we can view our objects like 3D Viewport in Blender. And the Game tab, we'll use it to preview our item applied to our Zepetto avatar. On the right here is the Inspector window that works like the Properties Editor in Blender. Then let's come to the Project tab down here. Remember we opened Playground Unity from the Assets folder, right? This Assets folder is the same Assets folder. And within the Assets folder, there's the Contents folder where we will create new folders each time we make new items. So let's go to Contents folder and we'll create a new folder here. Either right-click, Create Folder, or this little plus sign, click and folder. Name the folder as you named your Blender file. So it's a pedal category context underscore 001. And we'll import our exported FBX file and your final texture here. There are two ways to do it. First, open your Windows Explorer where you saved your FBX file. Select your FBX file. Select also your texture file, and we're going to drag and drop into our Unity file. Now, I also shared a folder called Lens on Discord. We'll drag and drop this folder as well. Drag and drop it in the Contents folder. You could also right-click and show in Explorer. This will open Windows Explorer of the folder and you can drag and drop your files from here. Now let's go to the Scene tab. To be able to see your object in the Scene tab, we're going to drag your FBX file into the hierarchy window, and you see your object appeared. Scroll up to zoom in, mouse wheel click to move, control right click to change the view of your camera. You can also select your object, hotkey F, to center view your object. You can also click the gizmo here to rotate your camera view. We need to create a material to apply our texture. Click on FBX, extract materials, select the folder you want to export your material, context 001, select folder and you see these two materials have appeared. Select your FBX file again. Under Materials, there are slots for two materials here. When you extract materials the way we just did, your materials will be applied to these slots automatically. Now this Lambert material is applied to the mask, so you don't have to worry about it. Just leave it for now. Select your context material. We're going to apply your texture image. Select, drag, and drop it next to the albedo. In the scene tab, you don't see your eye texture appearing properly. And this is exactly why we painted the eyeballs of the mask object black. On Zepetto, the painted eyeballs will appear invisible and we'll see your lens texture. Try clicking the body here and you can see in the inspector window that you've selected your FBX file. Now select again, and now you see that mask has been selected. Turn off the checkbox to hide the mask, and now you can only see the eyeballs here. Select your context shader and enlarge this preview window. Click and drag to rotate. 
Right now, the material seems a little bit dull and not so interesting. We're going to enhance the shader to make it look more like an actual eyeball. Let's go to the lens folder. These are the sample files provided by Zepetto. Select lens shader. And here you can see that it's got a reflection, shininess. It looks more like an eyeball. Let's copy the shader, select, Control D to copy and paste. We're going to drag this to our context folder. Now you see the lens shader one appear. Instead of our context shader, we're going to apply this lens shader into our FBX file. So select FBX file, drag and drop the lens shader file into the context shader slot. Apply. You see that the new shader has been applied. To apply our texture to the new lens shader, select lens shader. And this time we're going to drag and drop it into this larger box over here. Ta-da! Now we have a much more interesting looking shader. You can also play around with the values of smoothness and shininess to achieve the look you want. When you're ready, we're going to preview our item applied to Zepetto avatar. Select FBX file, right click Zepetto Studio. We're going to convert to Zepetto style and you see another file has appeared. This file is called a prefab file. It only contains our item. And this is needed to convert it to our final Zepetto file. Right click again. Zepetto Studio, export as Zepetto. Ta-da! You have the final Zepetto file ready to be uploaded to Zepetto Studio. Now go to Zepetto Studio Online, Manage Content, Sign In. We're going to create a new item, so click Create, Items. Create item with 3D file. Find our category, Contacts. You can either drag and drop your Zepetto file or click, go to the Contacts folder that we created in Assets Contents folder. Double click Zepetto file. It may take some time to upload. And ta-da! You have your first contacts uploaded. Now fill in the name. I usually go again with the category and a brief description, tutorial, blue, list the hashtags you want to include, maximum of five. Let's all do tulip class enter, subpedor class enter. And add three more you want to include. Adjust the price as you like. The minimum Zen for contacts is three Zens. And there's an option to see your item in different body type. Body type one, two, three. Make sure when you actually create clothing item, no part of the body sticks out from your clothing item especially in a larger body type. You can also click this arrow to zoom in. And there's a link down here to preview your items on your phone. Click and you'll get a notification on your app to see your item on your avatar. And you can also click this link icon to copy the preview link. And you can share the preview link on our Discord channel. Now save, and we're ready to submit. Remember that you can only submit three items at a time. Submit three and wait for them to go in review and get approved. And then you'll be able to submit another three. And let's submit our contacts. And after submitting, close the window, go to My Contents and you'll see your item listed in my contents page. After submitting, your review status should change to submitted. 
and when Zapero starts reviewing, it'll change to in review, and once it gets approved, it'll change to approved. In Zapero guideline, they say the screening process can take up to two weeks, and that's excluding weekends and holidays. So now let's just wait patiently for your item to be approved. Congrats on making till the end of week one tutorial. Yay! Let's go on and share our awesome work on Zapero. Don't forget to use the hashtags and tag me on your post. I'll see you next week. Bye!